Ecclesiastes chapter 3 tells us that there is a season and a time for everything. To everything there is a season and a time for every purpose under heaven. The thing about seasons and times is that they are limited and they change. No season is here to stay permanently. For example, it tells us in verse 4, there is a time to weep, but there is a time to laugh. There is a time to mourn, but there is a time to dance. Another verse says, there's a time to embrace, but there's actually a time to refrain from embracing. Verse 6 tells us, there is a time to gain, but there's also a time to lose. Another verse says, there's a time to keep silence, but there's a time to speak. The servant of the Lord must be instant in season and out of season. When the season is coming and the season is going, when things are shifting and changing and turning, we are supposed to be ready for whatever God wants to do next in our life. The problem with all this shifting and turning and changing that can happen in our earth walk is sometimes we're not ready for it. Sometimes we don't like it. But look at one of my favorite verses in the whole Bible. It's Isaiah chapter 43, beginning with verse 18. The Bible says, do not remember the former things, nor consider the things of old. He's saying here, don't cling to it. Don't hold on to what has passed. Verse 19, for behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. And this is the thing about the seasons and the changes that God brings in your life. It always is a pathway to your future. It's a new road. If you're in the wilderness, if you're in a place of flourishing, if it's that time of gaining or the time of losing, whatever it is, it's a pathway. It's a road and it's going to get you forward into the place and the purpose that God has designed for you. I think we can trust him. I think we can follow him and let him lead us into the new season, whether it's our favorite season of embracing or our not so favorite season of refraining from embracing. Whatever the season is, trust him, let him lead you and walk that path because it is the only way forward. It's a new season. It's a new day. A fresh anointing is flowing our way. It's a season of power or prosperity. But it's a new season. It's coming for me. Get ready to walk the road that God is laying out for you into your next.